Hello, everyone. Welcome to Developing Palettes. I am Aaron Loomis coming to you from Drew Estate Studio. With me today is Seth Geis and from the Pastani Studio, John McTavish. How you guys doing? Doing well, man. Doing very well. Good, man. The uh, weather has been flip-flopping. We've been getting an enormous amount of rain and we had snow and then we had more rain. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, now all of a sudden it's like a mid seventies. So. All right. Yeah. Well, at least you made it there. So. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So today we are talking about the Macanudo Emissary Espana Robusto. Uh, cigars five inch by 52. Uh, comes out of the STG Danley factory in Honduras. Uh, Wrapper is U.S. Broadleaf Claro. Uh, binder is Ni Nicaraguan Condega. And the filler is Dominican Piloto, Colombian, Nicaraguan ASP, and from Spain. Um, price point is $14.99. Uh, the cigar was released in March of 2024. Uh, so with all that out of the way, Seth, what was your overall experience like with this cigar? I just have a quick question. Where Do they tell us where in Spain... They were growing it. I was just curious. Like, I, I think it's, I think they say it's in Espana. Yeah. Well, I know that, but like <laughs> where in the, the, I don't like, think they're giving you details. Know if, no, they're not going to tell you that. Yeah, of course they're not. At least like, you know, the also, Italian did they say it was grown in Tuscany. Spain or was it just like a bale Spanish of tobacco, tobacco. Went, to, went to Spain? Yeah. Flew over, it over flew over they Spain. put it, they put it on a boat. <laughs> put it in a harbor. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it flew over they Spain. knighted it and stuff. So it was officially. Tobacco of Spain. How long? Wait. How long was the Spain tobacco in the barrel for? Because what they could have done is put it in the barrel, yep. sent it to Spain. There you go. And then sent it back and been like, "There you go, aged it's in Spanish. Spain." There you go. Spanish. That's fucking Sp España. Either way, first third dry earth hay. Really, that Spanish tobacco quality. That you know what I'm talking yep. about. Um, just like that. That tawar. Hey, cocoa notes, herbal spice, um, some meaty aspects, um, leather and mineral as well, medium and strength and body. Um, that flavor profile really just continued from throughout. Um, yeah, solid, medium strength, body, just kind of average, really good burn, really good draw. I don't, I, yeah, John? Uh, I got uh, sweet tobacco, light plus wood, a little dry wood on the post draw, a little mossy earth as it settled in, white pepper, um, bread on the retrohale, a little bit of acidity to the center, which was interesting. I uh, don't usually get that a lot of cigars, but it did a great job of kind of anchoring all the flavor com components together. Uh, bread actually got up to medium strength as it continued, which was interesting. Uh, bottom half was kind of uh, wood, hay, tannins, bread. Uh, second, third, bread, sweet tobacco, molly tannic wood. Um, and that was pretty consistent. Uh, it, you know, it's one of those cigars in the second, third where you don't really need a lot of change ups. It just kind of stayed good. And then uh, wood kind of took a little tryness in the bottom half, moving up to medium strength uh, and retrohale bread and tobacco. So good first, third, good second, third. And then last third, kind of creamy, sweet tobacco, bread, uh, medium tannic wood. And then that wood kind of moved in the center and continue to move up as the cigar progressed and, and, and just kind of eventually became wood forward with a little bit of earth accents in the post raw. Uh, burn started a little wavy, had to do a touch up uh, in the second third, unfortunately. Um, draw is perfect for me. Um, started out like slightly resistant and then kind of opened up. So overall, uh, I had a good experience. What about you, Aaron? Yeah, for me, the cigar started with toasted cedar, earth, and a dull black pepper. Um, got a construction paper note that joined in pretty quickly. Uh, second, third, saw a creamy chalkiness join in. And then the final third, saw the creamy chalkiness depart. Um, fairly average flavor profile throughout. Um, the drivers were the toasted cedar and the earth with the other components really just providing support at various levels. But um, for me, it kind of kept up with that uh, homogenized tobacco profile that I get from many of the STG cigars. And this really isn't something that provides excitement to me and makes me want to come back to it, um, especially when they want to tack on these uh, higher prices to these fancy tobaccos that they um, somehow find and, and put into these blends. So getting into the scores, I'm going to start at the top with John at 6.72. Seth Woo! gave it a 5.65. I gave it a 5.55. So John, how that 6.72 match up for you? 
I'll tell you what, Macanudo Studios coming soon to. And I, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, it matched up well. Uh, I've smoked a, I smoked a few of these at the show. I smoked a couple of these coming home, and then did the one for review. And uh, profile has been pretty consistent. Um, that was one of my kind of highlight cigars from the show, and I was really hoping that the review is going to stand up because oftentimes it doesn't. Uh, but it did for me, so it was very consistent with the experience I got at the show. So, uh, yeah, it's a very good cigar. I like, I liked it. All right, Seth, 5.65. I mean, it was average. It was one of those. The one thing I'll say is it kind of it delivered some of that um, Nicaraguan flavor profile, but it just didn't have, like, that strength behind it, the strength and body, so it was a little bit softer. Um, I don't know if that just has to do with the tobacco they used, um, the age to it. I don't know anything about Spanish tobacco in it. It's probably quarter of a leaf anyway, so you know who cares. Um, yeah, I just, I guess the price isn't bad. It's just I don't know. I'm not picking up for it. You know, it's not something yeah. I'm going to come back to. I wouldn't try it in any of the other fancy sizes either. You know, it's like this or the Toro. I wouldn't do anything other crazy with it. Yeah, uh, my five point five five matches up well. Uh, average flavor profile throughout. Uh, a little bit of burn issues. Uh, a little bit wavy and had to do a relight, so it knocked it down a little bit, but. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know, for most of the STG stuff, it all kind of tastes sem- somewhat similar to me. Um, it just feels like the tobaccos they used are just maybe past their, their useful lifespan and they're on their way down or something like that, or I don't know what it is, but, um, <laughs> but you know, it's a, it's a rare case when I find one from them that I, that I really stands out. So uh, final thoughts from you guys. Um. <clears throat> You know, I don't know where you go. I mean, the Macanudo portfolio is, it's pretty full. Like you have uh, more colors now than I think I can name. Um, So, you know, like, and I say that like to say like, look, I don't think you need to have more Macanudos. You know what I mean? Like you had the Macanudo Jamaica, you've had the, now you had the Macanudo Espana and like maybe they're going to do country releases uh, to, because they couldn't, end up doing the same idea with CAO because they just got bored with that. Um, so maybe, you know, we'll see the CAO uh, or the Macanudo Italia and the Macanudo whatever. Um, but I like, I feel like the brand has enough cigars. Like there's more than enough cigars. Maybe you should come up with a, a, an annual custom size for the white and the, and the black. Like, I don't, I don't know, but like, I just don't think releasing new lines other I mean, this is good, but, releasing new lines into the series i don't know that that's the right idea for the for the brand in my opinion yeah yes when you have you know if you have this cool project you gotta figure out what what bucket you're gonna put it in so right um but yeah it's too good for cao so yeah okay there you go (laughs) yeah so all right wherever you catch this video be sure to like subscribe and check out the full written review on the website developingpalace.com Follow us on all the social media channels, and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts, iTunes, Google Play, and Podbean. Thank you for tuning in. We will catch you on the next one. Espana. <laughs>